clearer. Dot. The girl curled up on the cloud with a headache. Dot. And then the raccoon jumped down from above. He said hello to the girl and ran into the cabin. Dot. Looking at the dilapidated cabin, the girl felt a sense of wonder and familiarity as she cautiously entered the cabin. Dot. Although the interior of the house was already in a state of disrepair, but the room's arrangement and objects gave the girl a strange feeling. Dot. Suddenly there was a sound of metal clashing which startled the girl. Dot. A middle-aged woman with a blank stare appeared in front of her. Dot. This woman is very strange. Obviously, there was no thread in her hand, but she didn't stop knitting her scarf. Dot. When the girl saw the scene, she felt a bit strange. Dot. She slowly stood up. She saw herself in the mirror and the woman in front of her. Dot. It made her feel scared. Dot. It was as if the woman was her future. Dot. The girl didn't want to be here any longer. Dot. She picked up the raccoon and ran out the door. Dot. Just as the girl was about to go back. Dot. The raccoon didn't want to go back with her. Dot. The girl looked at the raccoon with sadness. Dot. And saw that the cabin was about to be covered by a dark cloud. Dot. The girl finally chose to return to her original location. Dot. After 